Ah, uh, hello buddy, my name is Ultra Gamer 63 And welcome to Day of the Tentacle Remastered So, anyway, this game was in a pack Full of a bunch of other games But upon the one of them was the one I actually wanted, Grim Fandango Now, I went on Twitter and asked you guys uh, What do you want to see? Grim Fandango or Day of the Tentacle Remastered? Well, this game ended up winning Frankly, I have no idea what it's about. All I know is that people say it's really good, so let's go. Why don't we? Would you like to enable developer's commentary? No, I think we'll do that later. Maybe I'll do it on my own time. I don't know. Whoa. Yep, LucasArts. That's pretty good. Alright, what's going on? I swear, I can never find the name of this song. Oh man, they're polluting the river. I'm triggered. Yep, that bird's dead now. Oh man, rip bird. What the? What the heck? I am very. I'm thirsty. I am very. I don't think you should drink that. I am. I am very confused right now. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. Uh. I feel like I could. Like I could. Uh. I am very confused. What is happening? Like I could. You could what? <gasps> oh my gosh, he has arms. Take over the world. Cool. You want to take over the world, huh? Well, it looks like your little uh, green tentacle friend is over there in the corner crying. It's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we can bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. Um. I don't. This. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. What? He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. Oh, no. I... I am confused. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to retreat to my safe area where nothing can hurt me. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... Back to the mansion. I'm sorry. What is 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 there something I'm not understanding? Oh boy, here we go. Day of the Tentacle. What? No remastered. Whatever, man. So, what's what's next? I I'm very scared. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Alrighty then. Just got a bunch of staff credits, huh?
I... I don't know what's going on here, okay? I'm confused. So... Two tentacles that aren't, like, connected to anything... Drinks something... And then... And then, like, grows arms... My question is, why are the tentacles not attached to anything? Also, saying something about a mansion is. It, should should I have done more research on this game before I, before I played it? I mean, the animation looks kind of cool. Kinda. I. I don't know what to say. All right. I... What, what are we even trying to do? That's my question. Are we going to the game now? Yeah, I think so. Well, that was certainly a weird sound effect. Oh, come on. You can't do that to me. You can't just cut off the music and then not let me play, alright? That's a bit of a jerk thing to do, LucasArts. Are, are we going to be able to... I want to play the game. Hey, how's it going, cow? Great, we crashed the, the truck into a tree. Great job, Bernard. That was his name, right, Bernard? All right, baby, what's okay, next? Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Ogie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. Oh, all right. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? You wouldn't you wouldn't know if it was a secret lair, would you? Oh boy, here we go. Alright. Mm. This is gonna... Hold on. Open inventory, commentary, select hoagie... Oh boy, I am gonna have to have to learn a lot of this, aren't I? Aren't I? Oh boy, oh boy. Give uh, give me a second. Uh, I think I understand now. Wait, chuck the plant. Can I can I chuck the plant? Oh um. Oh wait, I can't chuck the plant. Pull chuck the plant. I can't touch it. It's spiny. Sure, Bernard, you're being a wuss. Can you push it? Though? I can't touch it. It's spiny. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Pick up a horticultural horror. Cool. What's in? What's through this door? Wait. What's this thing on the ground? Gum with with a dime stuck on it. Oh boy. There's so many. Wait. I can close it. Close gum. Yeah. I was. I was gonna say. It's not in a wrapper. Okay, uh... Let's see. It's stuck to the floor. Well, can I... It's stuck to the floor. Okay, I got it. What's on this grandfather clock? Stairs? Hoagie's got that part of the house. Uh... Can I, uh... Wait, how do I... Oh my gosh, can I... Can I not play this game because my computer doesn't have a number pad on it? Because that's going to be horrible. 
Let me, uh, use door. Well, can I, can I open the door and then go through it? Thank you. Hmm. It's in this phone. I don't have anyone to call. Oh, look, it's Star Wars. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Huh. <laughs> uh, open desk drawer. Okay, I have no idea. Where, I mean, pick a boo boo be gone. Wait, what? I thought Swiss handbook. Or Swiss bank book. Uh, all right, what's uh, what's in this portrait? Uh, can we close it? It won't go any further. Oh, oh, there was a safe behind it. Uh, look. The safe is closed. All right. Uh, I can't push it in any farther. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know the combination. All right, all right, hold on. Whoa, wait, what? Whoa, what's going on? It clicked on one thing and I don't know what happened. Did, did I find a secret entryway or something? Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Boy! Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Uh... Did you say Bernard? Yeah, I... I am very confused! We're trying to save some tentacles, alright? Okay, I don't know what to you're do. you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> you... You didn't mention that, Green. Wait! Also, why does Green Tentacle oh, sound... yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh... I'll try to talk him out of it. Don't. It doesn't. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? A considerable amount, I would assume. Uh, wait. Where do I? What, what do I do? Uh. Oh. There we go. Sleeping lab rats. Doctor Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk test? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! What? We're putting time travel into this now? Oh goody, this is going to be so great, so amazing. This Wh is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogen! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? Yeah, was... No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> okay, if there's one thing I will give this game, it's kind of funny. So, so it's just gone now? Well, I'll be. You'll be what? Did it did it work properly? Cause Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. 
This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. <laughs> I just... What could it all be? Wait, what? I don't know. I don't want to know. Well, the audio got got pretty weird right there. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. <laughs> well, that's some high quality logic right there. You can't. It works. I can't believe it. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh, yeah, it's not good enough. Uh oh. Yeah, it isn't good enough, mate. Hey, hey, Bernard, stay in the. Okay, will you just stay in the Chronojohn and not die? Okay, see, that's just funny right there. Hoagie knows what's up. Yeah, his name was Hoagie, right? I, I honestly don't, don't know things, okay? This episode has been nothing but plot and explaining. Wow. Oh. It's like he's stuck somewhere. Uh, what's up with you? Well, you're stuck there. Where's, uh, where's Bernard stuck? Oh, Bernard came back. Well, oh, never mind, he's back. Ah, <laughs> he's a nerd. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, <laughs> and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and plug them in. Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? That's a good yes, point. Well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? You're going to quit? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Yeah. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Well, that's a pretty good plan if I don't say so myself. All right, then. Let's, uh... Hello, game. Game, are you okay? Oh boy, this is great. I can look at the time machine. What's what's the big deal with this time machine? Uh, how, why can I open it? No way. All right then. Well, then what are we even doing? I mean, I know we gotta find the plan. Put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. All right. I hope you know what you're doing, old man. This game has has okay animation, I guess. Fred? Yeah, he's up he's upstairs, right? 
The plans! The plans! Here's the candy machine. Let's see, can we interact with it? We can uh, use it. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Hmm. Uh, can I use the door? Can I, can I, oh my gosh, how do I, there we go. Where does this lead? Uh, I am confused. So confused, in fact, I, uh, Four thousand carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The well, number to call is one eight hundred Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, uh, gotta get two million dollars somehow to get that diamond, huh? Well then, I can pick him up. Talk. To the sleeping king. Do you ever inhale flies? Are you interested in particle physics? Are you interested in particle physics? Uh. I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. I still doesn't care. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Huh. I wonder where Dr. Fred could have put them. Well. I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. I mean, his, his snores are actually really quiet. He, he lived in California until he was declared an earthquake hazard. I'd better be going now. That's a pretty nice sweater. I want it, though. Where are those keys I can take? All right, let's see here. It's, uh, it's in this one. Hello? It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Uh. How appropriate. Oh my god! Uh. I can't even do this right. That, uh, that was depressing. Yo, Dwayne, you okay? Hey, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? No, man, Dwayne's a super, uh, super dank meme. Hey, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? Uh, the stooped shoulders. Stooped shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The Wait. problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world, and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they like one just once. Oh, oh, is me. What? What did you say your what job? What did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world yeah. and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe oh, is me. I mean, your designs seem kind of cool. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. <laughs> Maybe I can, Maybe I can you. help cheer you up? Yeah. Oh, I can hardly wait. Uh, why don't you try listening a uh, 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 a happy why don't tune? You try whistling a happy tune. I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. What? That sounds awesome. Me? 
maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. All right, let's discuss philosophy. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Hey, this is, I get this guy. <laughs> mm. Well, that's uh. Anyway, I I think that I think this is this is enough for this episode. Um, this this episode is mainly just story. I have no idea what's going on. I'm very confused. We're going to figure all that stuff in the next episode. Anyway, that's going to be it for episode 1. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.